Camera Obscura. Vermeer is like water, like tears. For instance, either she is looking right at you, or she is by the window, intent on the scales, pouring white milk. She is looking at you, Vermeer has seen to that, or she is reading the letter, she is weighing the jewels, playing music. Either she has been disturbed, or she has not been disturbed at all. Because the windows are high, and she stands facing the windows, Vermeer has been obliged to dress her lips, her arms, her eyes in white, a blessing of white. The rest of her is plum and silk. The rest of her is cream. The rest of her is pearl. Vermeer is oyster and tears. You begin to feel that you would like to read her letter. She is not interrupted. Or perhaps that you belong in it. She knows what you feel. She is pleased that this painting continues. She does not become vain, though the more you see her, the more you fall in love with her. Vanity is not what you have to give. That, too, is in her letter. Her eyes will not forget you. Vermeer has seen to that in the white. He has put it there, though it is not his to decipher. He has painted interiors, not the world. To him, these rooms matter most of all. The room is in the canvas, and light falls on it as you enter.